So welcome to another WordPress theme development tutorial. In this video we're going to be creating this category list on the left here and as well as the list of recent posts which will be limited to 10 posts or whatever the default is set in WordPress settings. And this can be changed in the back end in the admin panel so it's not hard coded in which will be work really well. So in our code what we want to do is underneath this Jumbotron area we're going to create a div and this is going to be our panel so I'm just going to copy it over there and we'll close it off here and inside here what we're going to do is have a div with a class equal to row and this is going to have our uh, our grid in it and then obviously you've got to close this off and then inside here what we're going to do is we're going to create a div with a class of column and medium 2 so that will span it 2 across and then we'll close this off and then underneath here we'll have 10 which will fill out the rest of the way so these adding up to 12 so they'll fill up the whole way and then again I'll close that off so this one's going to have our categories in it and this one is going to be our list of posts so doing our categories is really easy what we're going to do is just create our UL all of this code is in the link in the description below uh, to download it as well so we're going to have UL class equals nav nav pills nav stacked and then slash UL and then what we're going to have here is some WordPress code and what this code is going to do is it's literally going to echo out the list items with all of their code attached to them. So we're going to dip, uh, php wp underscore list underscore categories and then we're going to put brackets around it semicolon inside here apostrophes or uh, single quotation marks whatever you want to call them and then inside here we can have order by equals name and save that. So now if we refresh it on the server and we refresh it, there that looks absolutely awful. Um, we've got a category title one here, it's got our bullet points on it, it's just not styled and the reason this is being is if I right click on this actually I go inspect element, this is a really cool Chrome feature. You can see it's adding classes here, cat item, cat item 2 and it's got 6, 4 and everything like that. This is the thing that WordPress does and to remove it what we can do is also adding our categories up here. To remove it what we can do is we've got ampersand or the and sign it's shift and seven and what we're going to put here is title underscore li equals and then stop. That's done. We want to set it equal to nothing and that will mean that it will give us no classes, no title, no nothing. So it would just be pure list items with no classes or anything. So now if I refresh that, and refresh it, you can see it's looking really good now. We've got a nice hover effects, the pills are working perfectly. And you can see we're automatically getting these hover overs saying view all posts filed under tablets. The next thing we're going to do is in this column MD10, and this is going to have our list of posts. So inside here what I'm going to do is create a PHP tag. And this is actually very similar to what we did up in the Jumbotron. So I'm going to just copy this line of code here, line 5, if you're following my structure. While I have post and the post, we're going to copy that and paste it there. But then underneath this, we're just going to copy this one again, line 12. Copy that, paste it. And this is going to end that loop. So this is a loop, and then this is going to end it and then reset it. Just like it did up there. And then in between, in between this, it's going to be echoed out for each item. So for the heading what I'm going to do is just copy this because this is exactly the same paste it there and change this to H3's so that it's slightly smaller it will be more proportioned and everything underneath here what we're going to do is create a paragraph tags and this is really simple thanks to uh, WordPress functions this is going to be the underscore excerpt again just like we did up in the Jumbotron I could have actually copied and pasted that but didn't think of it and then lastly we're going to put a bit of meta which is going to say who it's posted by and when it was posted. So here I'm going to put posted on, sorry, posted by, and then php the underscore author, another inbuilt uh, function. That's going to just echo out the name of the author that created it. And then we're going to put space on, and then here we're going to have the date. So this is php the underscore time question uh, sorry brackets semicolon and inside here this is kind of this is kind of strange 
this is just a, a PHP thing in WordPress and this is just how the time and date is going to be displayed now I only want to show the date I don't want to show the time although you could do uh, but just copy exactly how I put it capital F space lowercase j capital S space sorry comma uh, capital Y this is how we're going to structure the date so it's going to have the month then the day then uh, the year uh, I don't really know a lot about this so I'm not going to pretend I do so I'm going to leave a link in the description below uh, to the WordPress documentation or wiki or whatever it is uh, which explains exactly all of the different characters you can use and how you can format the date you want so this is going to say like January the 2nd 2014 that's how it's going to structure it so save it and we'll refresh it and there you go that is how it's looking it looks really good uh, one last thing I want to do on this is posted by Neil on November 9th 2013 by the way this is my WordPress username um, we want to make this greyed out so it's not so much of a focus this is really simple with bootstrap we just got to add a class equal to text dash muted save that and then we will refresh it again and there you go that looks perfect now just how I showed you before and if I click on one of these it will show it just on its own in the next video we'll be looking at how to make this show in full size uh, and we'll also get rid of this and that as well because it's just not relevant so thank you for watching, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe if you found this useful and I'll see you in the next video.